first dig of 2022. It's a bit squelchy. Uh, I've been on this field before. I found not much on this field. I think I found a gold. Some people say it's silver, but I'm still convinced it was gold. Cufflink on here. So I'm not going to be doing this field today. Let's go to the next field. It's the second field here. Now I found a lot of coins on this field, including a Hamid and what I've given to the owner was a uh, Saxon or oh, Viking stirrup mount. He's well happy with that. But I'm not going to be doing this field as well because I've pretty much gone over it a lot. I don't want to waste too much time today. I've only got a couple of hours. So I'm going to go into the next field just across there and give that a go because I've not really done much in that field. I haven't found much in there either. I've only really skimmed the surface. So I'll be spending most of the time in there today. Anyway, I'm on field three, I call this one. Uh, not really touched it that much, but we'll give it a good go today. I'm using the Equinox 600 as always. Well, not as always, but today I am. 11 inch coil, ultra light Wilkinson sword. 20 pound bargain that was. I think it was 20 pound, can't remember now. Absolute bargain. Yeah, we're all set up, field one. Uh, sensitivity about 24, cause it's a nice quiet field, look at that. No interruptions, no um, no noises, no false signals, nothing. It's very wet as well. There's a lot of morning uh, dew on the on the grass. I just want to do a little video on how to swing a metal detector. I was on a hunt on a, a rally recently, and I was watching so many people doing this. I was like, "What are you doing? Swinging coil like up in the air like that? Are you supposed to do it around? Skim the grass in an arc like that. Keep the detector coil." touching the grass or as close to the ground as you can get it none of this business what's all that about stop doing that annoying plus you're not going to find anything so this field is super quiet i've got a signal here though it's quite a high tone 30 32 it's quite deep there we go, got the hole dug, got the item out, it doesn't look like much. I'm using Dr. Otec, another cheap piece of kit, but really, really good. There it is, let's see what it is. Oh, it's a beautiful warm day today, 12th I think it is. 12th of um, January. Hope you all had a good New Year and a good Christmas. I was going to go to the beach today, but because it's sunny and warm, the beach will be full of people and yeah, well, I have no idea what that is. I can't really clean it up. Looks like a bit of shrapnel actually. Yeah, a bit of shrapnel. Bomb shrapnel. Yeah, it's a very quiet field like I said. Uh, I do have a number, oh it's a bit, a bit of an iffy one. Very low numbers. I'm always a bit suspicious of these. But it is deep. So what I normally do is dig a bit and then run the detector over again and see if the uh, sound and the numbers improve. I ended up digging a bit deeper than I, I was expecting to, but it's out. Yeah, as expected with the low number, it's just a bit of junk. Always check it now, always dig it, just in case. You never know, it could have been a hammy. Yeah, we've got a solid 10, well, 9, 10, 11. Not too deep down, there's a little bit of iron coming through. Alright, we've got that up, it's not too deep. I'm actually pinpointed well off on the machine there, it's in the in the side here. Let's try and do a live reveal, first live reveal of 2022, or oh, just in the wall here. See if anything recognisable jumps out. Oh, where's it gone? Is it still on the... Where did it go? Oh. Ah, it's still on the wall. Right, a little bit up to the side. Be nice if a bit of gold just popped out, wouldn't it? But I doubt that'll be a number 10 on the old machine. I normally wear gloves to do this, but... Ah, oh, still in there. Live reveals always go to plan, don't they? 
Right. Uh, you can see a bit of copper, I think it is. Ah, oh, what is that? Uh, hmm. I believe it might have been a button at one point. Well, that's something. Could have been a button or something else. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, so right there is where I found the mystery button item. Got another slightly scratchy. Thirteen twelve. Ah. There we are, deep, quite a deep hole. Uh, it was a buckle, unfortunately, that bit came off. Quite a big buckle, well, probably a horse buckle or some some sort. But it's the first buckle of 2022. Well, this this target sounds a bit more promising. Look at that, nineteen twenty. Yeah, it's a decent signal. It's just in there. I'm gonna do another live refill because it's such a good a good tone. So, Doctor Otek, what you do to these? You push it on, wait for the light on. There we go. Light comes on. Push the button a few times. See, it's really good, really good, cheap and good. And when he says that, it doesn't find what's in here. Ah. Now that's what live refills can do to you. Uh, it must be something small. Ah, there we are. It's in... just about there somewhere. Come on, let's see the silver or gold. It would be lovely to start the year with some silver or gold. Talking of gold, I found two gold coins and a gold ring so far in my metal detecting career. Which is not bad going. Mind you, I've been doing it for a good seven years, but it's not that good, I suppose. Seven years. Ooh, where is this little thing? Ah, it's dropped out. It's in here. That was a banging signal for something that small. That's how powerful the Equinox is. There it is. Oh, that looks interesting. It's not gold or silver, but it could be something really nice artifacty. Artifact rise. Yeah, something very small. Try and focus. It's like a leg of some sort of ornament or something. Not too sure. It's made out of possible pewter. Tell you what, it's nice whatever it is. It's like a mini axe. It's quite heavy. Bronze, I reckon. I'll see if I can clean it up and get back to you. Well, there it is. It's been cleaned up. Just can't seem to focus today. It's been all cleaned up. I think it's definitely bronze. Definitely bronze. But I have no idea what that's came off. Who knows, I might find the rest of it. If anyone's got any ideas, let me know. Well, suddenly the field got very noisy. There's a lot of iron around this area. In amongst the iron. Jumping around. It's kind of like in the gold area, that is, but it's kind of hit and miss, and it's a big target. It goes all the way over there. Don't know what it is. But I'm going to dig it up and have a look. Probably a big chunk of iron, but let's have a look. Ah, look at all this. Ah. <laughs> Watch this. Here's my pinpointer. It's all the way down there. I mean, it's half or even more of a half a spade down. I'm almost there. Oh, it better be something good. Well, haven't got down to the bottom of the mystery hole yet, but first thing to come out is a bit of pottery. That's a good sign. Nothing on it. Uh, it doesn't look that old. 
this ground is quite soft so it could be anything but this uh, I ain't giving this one up I'm gonna find out what it is the hole is even deeper I can see something dark down there I'm hoping it's a pot or something it's getting a bit crunchy down there so I'm trying to be careful it is a long way down uh, things that are coming up this bit of slate could be a bit of roofing tile hmm it's not Roman then I think they had red tiles didn't they yeah. So, oh, it's a bit of a bit of interesting pottery or stone. Oh, that's a red. That's a bit of a red, reddish tinge to it. Hmm. Keep that to one side. You always have a. Oh, there's another piece. Oh, I should. I think I should start being very careful digging this up. I don't wanna. I don't think it's a mosaic piece. But look at that. That's definitely something. Let's see any more pieces in here. It's not about metal detecting all the time. I mean, we are looking for history at the end of the day. Hmm. That's a crusty. Hopefully that. No, that didn't beep. Could just be a big lump of iron at the end of the day. But let's keep digging. Could be a good start to 2022. Well, I kept digging. I almost ended up on a an Australian beach. I dug that deep, but it was junk. <sighs> no wonder I gave a good signal. Now I was a bit terrified when I saw this bit because I thought, oh no, it's a bomb. But then I thought, oh hold on, just an old farming piece. It's even an old farming piece, or oh, it was a mortar bomb with a tail fin. Yeah, either way, it's a huge piece of junk. Never mind, let's carry on. Got a decent signal there, but it's jumping about a bit. Could be something on his edge, quite deep. Hopefully it's nothing like it was before. So here it is, got it out. It's not quite as deep as Australia, but look at that. Banging signal. Well, I can see it, and I think I know what it is straight away. I think it's another piece of sort of mortar bomb type thing. Very heavy. Yeah, I think it's some sort of shrapnel. I was just thinking to myself, I might head back to field one. Because this field is so quiet. And anything I do find is either just junk or shrapnel at the moment. But I've got a decent target here. Look at that, 19, 18. It's round about there. Let's see what it is. Yeah, no. It's another piece of shrapnel. Ugh. I will definitely be heading to field one. I will detect on my way there, but uh, we'll see what we can find on the way to field one. I crossed into field two from field three just over there. Uh, first target. There's a lot of iron in this field. This field's a bit noisier, but this target sounds good. Uh, 24-25. Deep enough. Could be a coin. Well, she's out. I thought it was something good to start with, but it looks a bit modern, doesn't it? 